shares of the GST. Artificial sweetener aspartame used in diet sodas and other sugar-free products is said to be declared as a possible carcinogen. A report by Reuters says that the WHO's cancer unit is likely to make the announcement next month. Archana Salanki, who has been tracking that story, joins us now with more. Archana, uh, this has not been made official yet by the WHO, but what are media reports suggesting? Thank you, Shireen. Well, if you're shy away from sugar and rely on artificial sweeteners, or if you consume Diet Coke, low-calorie desserts, condiments, sugar-free chewing gums, ready-to-drink teas, breakfast cereals, and zero-sugar beverages, then this report is for you. Well, according to a Reuters report, a popular low-calorie artificial sweetener named aspartam is most likely to be declared a possible carcinogenic or cancer-causing element next month by WHO's cancer research agency, IARC. Now, WHO has four levels of classification, carcinogenic, probably carcinogenic, possibly carcinogenic, and not classifiable. Now, aspartam is likely to be classified in the third category which is possibly carcinogenic and it is going to fall in the same category as lead and some pesticides. This is the first time such labeling will be done decades after aspartame was authorized for use in the US. The year was 1974. Now more than 90 countries including India use it. It has no calories and is approximately 200 times sweeter than table sugar. Now, India's FSSAI has mandated that products containing aspartame should clearly mention the name of the sweetener. Now, the most important question, is it bad for you? Well, we'll have to wait till July 14th when the IARC will make its findings public. However, it is unlikely to tell us how much quantity to consume in order to stay in that safe band. Well, that clarification might come from WHO's separate expert committee called JECFA, which is also reviewing aspartame. It will likely make this assessment on the same day, that is 14th of July. And it's interesting to note that since 1981, JECFA, WHO's expert committee, has said that aspartame is safe to consume within acceptable daily limits. For example, if an adult weighing 60 kg would have to drink between 12 to 36 cans of diet soda, depending on the amount of aspartame in the beverage, every day to be at risk. Now, this depends on the quantity also of aspartame. Now, all answers will be given to us on 14th of July. Back to you. All right, Achana, appreciate you joining